This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PiCat says, a car traveled at 60 miles per hour for two and a half hours. If one inch equals 20 miles on a map, how far has the car traveled on the map? So in order to solve a question like this, we have to use two different problem solving techniques. First, we're gonna use the distance formula that is distance equals rate times time to find out how far the car traveled. Uh, of course, we know that the car traveled at a rate of 60 miles per hour for a time of two and a half hours. So let's plug those values in. This becomes 60 times two and one half. All right, to solve for D, we have to do 60 times two and a half. And the easiest way to do this is to write 60 as a fraction by placing it over one, and then convert this mixed number to an improper fraction. To do that, we're gonna do two times two, which is four plus one, which is five over two. So the improper fraction equivalent of two and a half is five over two. Now we're multiplying two fractions and the easiest way to do this is to cross reduce as much as possible. More specifically, I can say two goes into two one time, two goes into 60 30 times. This is 30 over one, which is 30 times five over one, which is five. 30 times five is 150. All right, so we use the distance formula to determine that the car traveled the distance of 150 miles. And now we're gonna use a proportion to solve the second part of this problem. Again, one inch corresponds to 20 miles on the map. That's equal to the inches on the map, which is unknown, I'm gonna call it X, over the 150 miles that the car traveled. You solve proportions via cross multiplication. We have 20 times X, which is 20X, equals one times 150, which is 150. Again, to get X by itself, we're gonna divide both sides of this equation by 20. This crosses out, leaving us with X over here. Cross out these corresponding zeros. 15 over two is 7.5. So in other words, the car went 7.5 inches on the map. If you couldn't do 15 divided by two mentally, you could always do the long division. Two goes into 15 seven times without going over. Two times seven is 14. 15 minus 14 is one. We're gonna add a decimal and a zero placeholder, bring that decimal into our answer, drop down this zero. Two times five is exactly 10 with no remainder. So again, this one is A.